Uh, my name is Joshua One Park Game, and I didn't see you there. <laughs> my name is Joshua One Park Game, and welcome to our second channel. My name is Joshua One Park Game and welcome to your favorite YouTube series, Park Game Lectures. <laughs> this is my 30th episode of this series. But how many subscribers do I have right now? And how many subscribers did I have on my 20th lecture? So, uh, first of all, Thank you for 100 subscribers. Okay, listen here. Listen, we're in a situation where I have to be talking about getting me more subscribers or much more views. And I can tell that not many people actually have shared my videos on social media. Therefore, share my videos to every certain platforms and hit the subscribe button to my channel right now. You got that? But anyway, today's topic is going to be about some pretty much would say that this is a very abstract topic because it will be much more of an introductory video of a specific series which is basically going to be like a prelude of this massive sonata if you don't understand what a prelude means then go check out the fifth episode where I talk about why is classical music so damn long so, at the moment, today's topic is going to be about an introductory video of what is ensemble. So what is ensemble? A group of things or people are acting or taken together as a whole, especially groups of musicians who are regularly play together. Two or more people performing together in one piece of music. That is called ensemble. My definition of ensemble is collaborative musicians. It is musicians who are really good at collaboration. The situation of two or more people working together to create or achieve the same thing. You see why I prefer this definition much more than the original definition? It is because we are in a situation where you have two or more people working together to create something and come out into a great result. Or they're working on something together to achieve the same thing. Because it is a situation where there's two or more people who perform all of this together and create something or achieve the same thing. It's because it always sounds better when there's more people getting involved when they're performing one piece of music. Sometimes you are very sexy on the outside, but sometimes you are a supporting person on the inside. And you are doing both of these roles when you're doing an ensemble. That is the power of collaboration, which is so damn important. Therefore, if one person screws up in that group, that whole project becomes trash. So now, let's take a brief look at what kind of music is part of ensemble. Now, there are some people who consider collaborative pianists as a accompanist. And this is what an accompanist does. Sometimes that accompanist doesn't only do accompaniment. Sometimes they are great 
teachers. I mean, no offense to your teachers, but you gotta understand that your 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 solo music becomes so much better when there's an actual piano accompaniment gets on top of it, and that is because of that collaborative pianist has a better opinion, a better idea of how to make the music sound better. Because rather than calling an accompanist collaborative pianist, they're also good at coaching music. So I have to say, collaborative pianist sounds much more sexier compared to accompanist. There are many famous collaborative pianists. Many musicians talk about Gerald Moore. He's one of the best collaborative pianists. He worked with vocalists like Fisher Discount. So you can generally see that being a collaborative pianist is actually very, very good. There can be two or more pianists on one piano. This is gonna be super juicy. <laughs> now, chamber music. What the heck is chamber music? Chamber music is composed for small ensembles of instrumentalists. Uh -huh. So it can be two or more instruments that are doesn't have to really include the piano in it. In its original sense, chamber music referred to music composed for the home as opposed to that written for the theater or church. That's why it's chamber music. Now, when it comes to chamber music, there are a couple of things that you have to remember. We only have duet, trio, quartet, and quintet at the moment. So let me start off with string trios. So, strings. What is strings? Well, no, I'm not talking about the G string. I'm talking about the violin, viola, cello, double bass, or what else can it be? Ah, the ukulele, harp, guitar, or something that has a bunch of strings that you go ding, da, 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 ding, 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 ding. And so, here are some examples. String trick usually has violin, viola, and cello. String quartet usually have two violins, a viola and cello. And finally, string quintet usually has two violins, viola, cello, and double Bass. Here's some example of a string trio. Now here's an example of string quartet. And finally we have an example of a string quintet. But sometimes the piano can get involved in these string ensemble groups, which is called sometimes a piano trio, a piano quartet, and a piano quintet. So here's an example of a piano trio. Here's an example of a piano quartet. And also for a piano quintet. Let 
me show you something else. Do you know what does collaboration also include when it comes to classical music? Orchestras, operas, musicals, and of course something that I really wanted to talk about for a very long time, concertos. Yep. Concerto. This is an example of a piano concerto that has been rehearsed with a collaborative pianist. And this is what it sounds like if you play this with an orchestra. So in a later lectures, I'm going to be explaining to you a more detailed lecture about chamber music, orchestral music, operatic works, theater musical works, and also definitely concertos. And that's for today's lecture, just basically going to be introductory, so just be patient and wait until I give you more lectures and let us all get smart! <laughs> Do you agree with my lecture? Look how sexy my hair is! So do you, if you disagree or with any other topics that you want me to talk about, leave a comment down below. Then I'll see you in the next lecture. My name is Joshua One Park Kim, and as always, take care. Bye-bye! Quartet, quintet, sextet. Wait, is this sextet? Anyway, excuse me. We only have duet, tree. We only have duet, trio, 